Terrific story in Detroit where the body of a three-year-old boy is found in a basement freezer. Tonight, that child's mother has been arrested and we're learning more about the police and how they made the discovery. And now we're finding out who that little boy was. Fox 2's Jessica Dupnack is live with the details. And Jess, it's, it's hard to even imagine talking about the premise of this story. What happened here? Yeah, disgusting doesn't even touch it. We're talking about three-year-old Chase, who is blind. His mother now arrested in connection to his death. We're told she has a lengthy uh, history with Children's Protective Services, CPS. That's what triggered the welfare check with Detroit police earlier to their home on Detroit's west side. Officers say that the mom's answers just weren't adding up. Something was odd. They went inside, checked the home, and that's where they found Chase's decomposing body in the basement freezer. Now, Detroit police won't say exactly how long that he was in that freezer, but sources tell us it's been since at least March. He was the sweetest one. Sweet. He was so sweet. That's the voice of a grieving family member hours after learning three-year-old Chase, who is blind, was found dead inside of a freezer. We loved him and we miss him and she needed to pay for what she did. Chase's mom, who goes by Dee Dee, is under arrest in connection to the toddler's death. We're told by family six children, including Chase and a newborn, were living in unlivable conditions inside this home off Monte Vista on Detroit's West side. They didn't have anything. In the winter, I saw them with summer clothes. Neighbors say they tried to help, but the child's mom, Dee Dee, wouldn't let anyone in, including family, who say they haven't seen Chase since last September. First, she said she gave him, he went, was in the hospital when she gave him away. Then she said a, a couple had them. It was just too many stories not making sense. Detroit police say Children's Protective Services, CPS, contacted DPD Friday morning to do a welfare check at the home. Police say Dee Dee's answers to their questions did not add up. When they went inside, they found Chase's body decomposing in a basement freezer that was not working. Sources say he's been inside the freezer since at least March, but police have not confirmed. The other kids that were in the home uh, just imagine uh, what they must have gone through and, and what they must have uh, endured. Family tells Fox 2 they've been trying to intervene for years and get the kids out of there, calling CPS more than a dozen times. She couldn't deal with it, and everybody asked, if you don't want to be bothered, give them to us. Court records show Dee Dee was convicted of child abuse in 2018 for beating her nephew and has a long history with CPS. She had her kids taken away from her before yes and got them back yes and got them back sounds like mom who goes by Dee, Dee was telling everybody all kinds of stories as to where chase was including those five children that were still in the home we asked detroit police if those kids knew that chase was in the freezer they said they're still processing and interviewing those children to see what they knew those kids all five of them including a three-month-old baby now with family and we are awaiting charges against their mother reporting live on detroit's west side jessica dupnack fox 2 news so many terrible questions yet to be answered with horrific answers for sure. But one that we can begin with now, Jessica, is there anyone else who police are looking for in the case who, who could also maybe face charges? Well, mom did have a boyfriend believed to be the father of a couple of those children. He was in and out of the picture. But as, as of right now, Detroit police say they're not looking for anybody else. But still early, as you know, this just happened this morning. So things could change. Our thoughts with the relatives of that little boy. We thank you, Jessica Dupnack, for that live report.